once again you are welcome to my channel aesthetic of african art and artists in today's video we are going to look at a lifestyle of an artist who is a Ghanaian uh, and lives in cape coast his name is apiantiao before you continue watching this video i'll kind of like you to click the like button subscribe to my channel so that we can continue doing this each and every week you are once again welcome to my channel my name is edward kofi i am an art educator graphic designer and art aesthetician you are welcome to my channel thank you for subscribing to my channel my name is apia uh... I studied at Yankwasa Hinkro Basic School to GHS and then I went to Asin Manso to do visual arts. Then I went to Ganata College of Art to do the arts, diploma in art. Then I moved to Cape Coast. I was not forced to do art. Uh, you know, the, my parents discovered me earlier that I'm interested in art, so they helped me to pursue what, to, or to polish my talent. So this is what I've been doing. And they have been. My art journey started when I was a kid. Let's let me put it that way because uh, I was the one who was doing the small small posters for the school. And uh, when school we, we want to bring uh, crafts during the after exams, we bring crafts. Me, I'll be doing my art, drawing or making a small logo. So me, I never took a. Uh, uh, broom and other things to know. I always go with the art, doing small, small craft work and other things. So, this is what I've been doing. So, I started from there, then to the secondary school to continue doing the posters for the school and the rest. Then, I moved to Accra. Then, I continue my education from there. I am a painter. Yeah, I work with acrylic, I work on canvas, and sometimes mixed media on canvas. The art means to me, art is a way of life, or art is life. That's what art means to me, because every day is art. Everything we do is art. Like in Africa, we are, before we eat, we, we even, uh, before we sit down, we even do carve our stew before we sit down. Before we eat, we carve our bowl before. So everything we have we do is art. If I'm creating, sometimes the idea come from imagination or the news we hear or where you have been to. So then we develop it to become your own idea or because it's a message that you are sending to the world. So you have to capture it in your mind before you put. So before I create anything, it come as a message or sometimes something you have seen the news or your imaginative, you know, imaginative travel also. Then I'll go to my canvas and then put it there. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't come as you feel, but as you keep on doing it, it's coming. In the other way, art is just like a spiritual or something. Because if you don't follow your spirit, it can produce, or if you don't follow your inner feeling, it can produce something that is, that's what you want. So sometimes you have to, you know, Listen to yourself more. How to describe my, my art is sometimes it's a communication, and uh, because it's a message I'm sending to your world, so it's like a communication. I'm communicating to the world. Uh, like, I would say that I can't go without my art, so my art is my life. Uh, start. The, no, the steps I use for my artwork, you know, it, that when I, first you have to get the idea. And your head also have to give your hand permission to do. So, uh, if the idea can, sometimes put it on paper to, I'll sketch it to see if I get it right, like the way I, I feel it in me. Uh, sometimes I go straight to the canvas, then flow. 
Then the, I have to prepare my canvas also first. I stretch it, prime it, because here we can't go and buy the canvas, everything is stretched. Now I have to repair everything from half my canvas, stretch it, prime it. And then also I have to come out with the type of colors I want to use. And some of the colors too, you know, they just come to you. No, you don't choose them. It's there. It will come. It's a feeling, and it's an expression. When it's like feeling comes, sometimes you don't, you don't know how to explain. So the result will show that okay, this is what you mean. This is one of my paintings. I call it Feel Strong, and uh, I'm trying to capture uh, where I live. No, uh, Cape Coast. The inspiration is coming from Cape Coast and Elimina because they used to be the the ancient place of business. Like Cape Coast is the ancient capital, so the buildings are. I imagine the olden days to be a beautiful place, but just that time ran. The time also washed some of the beauty on, on the walls, and they have some writings in them. Like uh, I'm trying to inspire those who see my work that. Uh, they should slow down in life and find beauty in an unusual, an unusual place. That's why I can see some writings in them I'm talking about. And also imagine that it could be like to be nice also to walk in the street of uh, Cape Coast or in Ghana somewhere and they have the buildings, they have these writings on them. Motivation, inspiration, writings on the walls. I think it would be nice. That's, that's all my imagination. That's why I put it on canvas. And the, the reflection also is like we are reflecting to ourselves. Like I said, that uh, in, in, in life we need to slow down. In life also, and it's also to look for beauty in an in, in, in Israel place. And then the, the, the steps I used to create my work, uh, I know it's imaginative. Although it's a city that I'm trying to capture, but uh, I just walk, sometimes I walk streets. I walk in the town to capture the buildings and see how it is. So I first have to stretch my canvas, prime it, prepare the surface so that it will be suitable for painting. Then this one I sketch with brushes because it's something that I've been doing. I don't sketch with pencils. Then I will just go out with my colors and go back, come front, go back, mix colors, put this one here, do this door. It's a feeling, you no? Know, like when it comes, then it works. But if I don't have a feeling, I can't do it. And then, the, the, like I said, the reflection also the reflection of ourselves. This the water. And then my work also people describe as a thoughtful, like inspiration is thoughtful because of the message I have in them. So it's, it's inspired people. But normally I want my painting to be. Like people buy it, I can't tell them where they should hang, but I prefer my painting to be hanging where people normally pass or people always go about their normal business because you can find some message in them. But the message, I'll find them on the internet. When people are speaking, people are saying something, then they make some quotes and then I also capture it and put it in my painting. And in my painting too, normally uh, I work with uh, acrylic on canvas, acrylic, 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 sometimes on paper, but uh, I all mix media with acrylic, and then this one is uh, acrylic on canvas. Yeah. This one also is one of my paintings, I call it uh, Beauty Ghost. Uh, you know, it's assembles of uh, how they call combs from different parts of Africa and, and the one thing I like in, uh, as an artist, sometimes I look around my tradition and culture and highlight one of them. Like to see the beauty and also to ask people about uh, what is this and how they see this. So I was just working in my head and my brain and I came out with this comb that, oh, what does the comb mean to us as a society? And then the meaning of the comb also we have it in the Dinka symbols. It means it's one of the important uh, things that we need in life also because comb represents as a as a, a hygienic and also as a beauty hygiene and the beauty.
that's why I call it beauty gloss because we use the comb to clean our head and also to make us look beautiful and the rest. So these are samples of, and this is uh, mama, mother and child at the center. Like the newborn baby is about to learn something different. And then the shape here also is like oval shape. Yeah, and the oval shape also is a seed. Like the egg, egg is a seed. That's why it, it, it hatched with the baby, yeah, like yeah, chicken. So it's like a new egg, yeah, or newborn baby from the oval shape, from the egg. It's come to absorb the idea. So the, the woman is come to teach the child about life. It's like uh, the comb represents something hygienic. Have to be hygienic. You have to be look uh, neat all the time and the rest. So. So that's why it comes with different, different shapes because in life everything is shape. Mm -hmm. So you can see some kind of steps here. It's like in life, it's a process, not a straight line. That's why you can see that four ones you have like steps here that need to start from down to top. So where you are now, or your age self is a steps. That's why. Because I always tell people that no must rule the world. So everything, like what is this age, is a normal. What time do you get here is a normal. Well, how would I say that? So everything is normal. Come with. Like, we, 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 we speak worse, but it's a picture. Like I said, what do you, what do you eat? You imagine it in a picture, not in a worse. Yeah.